One of the possible plants for this yarn is the second one of the cardigans I'm wearing, that's a Ferrandel cardigan. Another one that I'm considering is to remake my 1896 cycling sweater. 1400 meters or something is not enough to make a cycling sweater, but it is also vastly too much to make the Ferrandel cardigan. So I'm still inclined to make the cycling sweater, um, but I think I'll use this ones for the sleeves. And I have got some Texelar fleece drying right now. I will spin that up into, I think, two more of these skeins and then I'll have enough to also finish the body. We have a winner! Boom! A new record. Well, have you ever? <laughs> My yarn is too thick. Friends, we have achieved our 28 stitches to 10 centimeter gauge. Um, not with 3.75 millimeter needles, but 3.25 millimeter needles. And another thing that apparently wasn't 100% correct in the pattern description was the yardage needed for this cycling sweater. So yeah, I think this is about the right yardage we need for the Ferrandel cardigan. So we're not only going to make the cycling sweater, but also the Ferrandel cardigan. Because I have approximately 12 hours of driving ahead of me. But the amounts of yarn I had left from both the mystery fiber and the Dexelar were not equal. So to overcome any weird kind of color blocking, I am alternating both skeins. And over here I am trying to show you my lazy way of making cables without a cable needle, but whatever this frame is, it is not showing you what it needs to show you. So yeah, enjoy this absolute weird knitting footage. <laughs> Basically what I'm doing is first knitting the third and the fourth stitch and then going back to the first and the second stitch and then while well, alternating on the back or the front of your work, depending on which way the cable needs to lean. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll link a better tutorial in the description. So with the alternating of the skeins, there is no weird stripes, you would say, but actually the stripes are still kind of weird, but I quite like the effect of it. And of course, as we're leaving sunny southern France, Autumn kicked in. And while we have not yet reached the border between France and Belgium, I have reached the border between body and sleeves. Friends, we have a bodice! Oops, don't show <laughs> the clutter in the back. But yeah. We can get on to Sleeve Island now. Only the thing is, this is the only bit of textile art that is left, so I think the sleeves will not be alternating as consequently as on the bodice i'll probably do like a fade towards only mystery fleece but as for now i am pretty pleased hashtag grandma core for the sleeves i am using the magic loop method but my circular needles are made out of metal, so using the same hole to enter and re-enter makes big gaping stitches, so I'm not doing that and finding a new hole every row. And with hole I of course mean stitch. But you know that. They're multiplying. Well, I only need two, of course, but uh, yeah, as you can hear, I'm a bit sick. I didn't go to work today, so I had all day to finish off 
the second sleeve of this Vandal cardigan. I only have the button band left to do, so exciting, we're nearing the finish line. I got these buttons from my husband's late grandmother and they're very pretty. They used to be on my first cycling sweater, but now I am reusing them here. I don't know how he got here, but you need to see this. There's a ladybug on my yarn. Let's put him outside. Come on, friend. Get on there. So now that we rescued the ladybug, we can go back to the wrap up of this video. So friends, here is my Ferendel cardigan, the second edition, because I love this pattern, although that was already established lore, as you can see this cardigan in every other video. I did some minor adjustments on this one, more to personal aesthetic and taste, like instead of a knit one pearl one border, I made a knit two pearl two border, both on the sleeves and the body. I also opted for a stretchy bind up because I do love the ability to roll up my sleeves and that's something I couldn't do with the other Farendale cardigan that I made. Contrary to my meticulous second edition of my cycling sweater, I did not test for gauge, I just went with whatever I had and whatever needle I had and it worked out just fine. Although I must say I didn't go for size XS as I would normally do, I went for a medium to, you know, be sure I would have enough stitches to go around the chest area because that's uh, the trickiest part for me. But yet again, I am super happy with this Farendale cardigan. It will get a lot of wear and now you will see a white or a brown Farendale cardigan every other video. <laughs> so, some diversity for you! If you enjoy these kind of fiber shenanigans, then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe. That's all up to you. And as for me, I will see you in a next video. Bye!